In this video we're going to look at how you can use a cumulative frequency graph such as this one to answer questions that ask you about less than or more than. So this cumulative frequency graph has been drawn and the sort of questions that you might be asked are like these. Estimate the number of people who took less than 12 seconds, less than 7 seconds, less than 14 seconds, more than 12 seconds, more than 7 seconds, and more than 14 seconds. Let's have a look at the context. So this graph is showing us the time taken by some people to complete a puzzle. Um, and the first thing that I would recommend that you always do is have a look at the very top point of your cumulative frequency graph. I want to know how many people were involved in this situation, in this um, doing a puzzle and working out how, many how much time they took. So I look at the very top point of the cumulative frequency graph, track along, okay, you may want to use a ruler in this case, okay, all the way along there, and I think it reaches this point here which is 107 people so this number here 107 tells us how many people were involved in the survey or the experiment now the first question that we're asked is to estimate the number of people who took less than 12 seconds in order to be able to do this, we need to look at 12 seconds, which is here. Let's just draw a line up from 12 seconds. Okay, I'm very bad, I haven't labelled my axes. So this one along here is the time taken in seconds. So I've gone to 12 seconds, I've drawn a line up to the cumulative frequency graph and then simply by reading off that value like that I can tell that there were 44 people who took less than 12 seconds so these less than questions are very simple you just read from the graph I want to know how many people took less than 12 seconds. I read from the graph and I find out that it was 44 people. I can do a similar thing for the 7 seconds and the 14 seconds. 7 seconds is here. And that turns out to be 14 people. And 14 seconds is here. And that turns out to be 58 people. So the less than questions are very straightforward. If you want to answer a less than question, just read from the graph. These more than questions ask me to estimate the number of people who took more than 12 seconds. Now this takes an extra step. Remember that we found from the graph that the total number of people involved in the survey was 107 because that was where this top number, the very end of the cumulative frequency graph, ends up at 107. So we know that there are a total of 107 people 
who took the survey or who were involved in the experiment and we know that 44 of them took less than 12 seconds so an estimate for the number of people who took more than 12 seconds is the remaining people out of that 107 we've got 107 in total 44 of them took less than 12 seconds so do a subtraction and you find out that 63 people took more than 12 seconds. Just do a quick check there. The people that took less than 12 seconds, 44. The people that took more than 12 seconds, 63. Add them together, it makes the total 107. When you are estimating like this from a cumulative frequency graph, you don't generally you don't generally sort of um, think about the people who took exactly 12 seconds. The thing about time, it being a continuous variable, is that it's very unlikely that anyone took exactly 12 seconds. They might be under or over by just a microsecond. Let's have a look at this next question. How many people took more than 7 seconds? Well, if we look at our previous answer, there were 14 people that took less than seven seconds so again it's just a subtraction 107 the total number of people involved in the survey 14 were less than seven seconds so that's going to leave 93 people that took more than seven seconds and lastly the number of people that took more than 14 seconds again it's the same method we had 107 people who took less than seven, uh, 14 seconds. Subtract the 58, the number of people that took less than 14 seconds, and you will end up with, what's that, 99, 49 people who took more than 14 seconds. If you are sort of unsure about that subtraction, what you can do is you can always draw yourself a little diagram. I mean, I would draw myself perhaps a, almost like a number line. And I would say, look, there are 107 people in total. The number of people that took, let's take this 12 seconds one as an example. The number of people that took less than 12 seconds was 44 people. The number of people that took more than 12 seconds, therefore, has to make up 107. That's 63 there. Again, you can check, look, the 44 people who took less than 12 seconds and the 63 people that took more than 12 seconds add up to make our total of 107. Now, there is an additional sort of question that you can be asked for this sort of graph. It is rare. Let's have a look at what happens if you're asked how many people took between 7 seconds and 14 seconds. I've drawn this little diagram going from 0 to 30, which was the time from our graph, 0 to 30. We know that there were 14 people who took less than 7 seconds. We also know that there were 49 people who took more than 14 seconds. And therefore, the number of people that took between 7 and 14 seconds is going to be what's left. So we have 14 here, 49 here. We know that the total is 107. So to find out this missing gap, the number of people in this zone here, I'm going to do 107, take away that 14 and take away the 49. That answer comes out to be, let's just do this quickly, 93 take away 49 is going to be, what is it, 44. Okay, 44 people in this zone between 7 seconds and 14 seconds.